there's a quick video about how I start a Model A with the crank. Um, the crank on these cars is, is to, needed for adjusting the timing. Also, if your battery's dead or your starter motor fails, um, I actually wind up having to do it fairly often a few times a year. Sometimes when it's really cold, I'll crank start the car because the battery, the, the starter draws a lot more current when it's cold because the engine is stiff and you get a hotter spark if you crank it. So sometimes when it's real cold, I'll use the crank. First thing inside the car. Just all the procedure for starting a Model A, I gotta turn the fuel on. Um, you wanna be damn sure it's in neutral. Be really sad if you're in first gear and the car starts up on you. Um, ignition on. Give it some throttle, and I'll look at the look at the gas pedal, and you can kind of see a little throttle. And then most very important is is retard the timing. Um, best practice every time you start the car, retard the timing. Um, and whenever you turn the car off, retard the timing for the next time you start it. So all those things are set. Um, it is cold out today. It's below 30 degrees. So I'm gonna give it um, a little extra fuel so it'll be running rich. Normally when you start a Model A, especially cold, you gotta give it a moment of choke. Um, I'll show you what I've done outside. I just have a piece of wire tied to the choke here and uh, to a little washer out here so I can pull the choke um, as I start it. I, I wear a glove when I do this. Um, reason being is not to bring your hand here. I've hurt myself a few times doing that. A quick, a quick mention about why we um, are sure to retard the timing. This is a crank turning the crankshaft, and if you could imagine this crank in this position, if the piston is hooked to it, it would be at the bottom. And as it comes up, if it was to fire, if it was to spark here, that would mean the timing is advanced. So it's sparking before top dead center. Top dead center is here. If it sparks back over here, it's going to turn the right direction. But if it sparks over here, it's going to kick back and it could hurt you. Um, and when you're crank starting the car by hand, if the timing is advanced and it sparks before top dead center, it will kick back every time. It'll never start, and it will quite likely hurt your arm or break it every time. So, very important to retard the timing. When I crank the car, it's not a matter of cranking it round and round. It's just a matter of pulling it about halfway over. Got a little crack in the radiator shroud there. Holds the choke. So, I, I pulled it over about twice with the choke. Now the choke is off. Ta-da! 